guys, it's your boy KC Fowler, one half of the Foul X podcast, host of the Melanin Warriors podcast, bringing you yet another Melanin Warrior. Today we're talking about Peter Salem, y'all, the Melanin Patriot. So let's go ahead and jump into this one. Peter Salem was born October 1st, 1750. He and his mother were enslaved in Framington, a province of Massachusetts Bay. His slavery was Jeremiah Pencap until he was sold to a Lawson Buckmeister. When Buckmeister became a general in the Continental Army, he actually emancipated Salem in 1775 so he could enlist in the Massachusetts militia. Now, we don't know if he forced him to join, that's why he emancipated him, or um, Salem showed his interest like a lot of slaves did at that time to actually want to fight for this country. Salem took part in the war's first battles at Concord on April 19, 1775. He was placed with the Captain Drury's company of the 6th Regiment, and he stayed with this regiment throughout his career. Peter Salem, another hero of the Battle of Bunker Hill that is not really named in the history books because there were so many heroes. And if you grew up, you know what I'm saying, hearing about the Battle of Bunker Hill during the American Revolution when you were in school and things like that, you didn't hear names like Peter Salem or other Melanin people. But hey, that's what the Melanin Warriors podcast is for, baby. So he fought tooth and nail with his company. According to a Samuel Sweat, uh, Salem had been mortally, Salem had mortally wounded Marine Service Officer John Pitcairn, y'all. But history books state only that John Pitcairn died from a musket shot. This is a huge deal, man. Y'all, why? Simple, man, because Pitcairn was a high-ranking officer that, um, you know, his name was known throughout Britain and Boston where he supposedly governed. So Salem, after the Battle of Bunker Hill, extended his military service, staying with his regiment from January to March 1st of 1780. Salem spent his remaining years, though, in peace, guys. After all the wars was over, America won, all that good stuff, you know, he decided to live in peace. So he married a Katie Benson in Salem, Massachusetts in September 1783, and later built them a cabin in Leicester, or Leicester, however you pronounce it, where he worked as a cane weaver. Peter Salem died on August 16, 1816, at age 65. He was buried in the old burying ground on Farmington, and the town spent about $150 for a monument in his memory, which was a really big deal, because at that time, $150 was a lot of money, and it was equivalent to about over $3,000 today or something like that. So the citizens of Framington had great respect for this melanin warrior. Uh, and eventually he was also depicted in a uh, TV, TV miniseries in 2015 called The Sons of Liberty. I didn't know that personally. I know what The Sons of Liberty is. So now I got to check that out, see if we can see this gentleman, uh, Mr. Peter Salem. But um, another melanin warrior of the American Revolutionary War guys at a time where most of the melanin people were slaves, a great deal of them chose to fight on the side of their oppressors. Peter Salem, who fought in many of the big conflicts and even wounded a big name officer leading to his death, is truly a melanin warrior and patriot. And I always remember, guys, if you don't stand for something, you're going to fall for anything. It's your boy.